All right, here is a, another example with long division using three digit numbers. So today we're going to do 564 divided by 6. <clears throat> so what we're looking at here is that you have to make sure that you're reading it properly. So don't say 6 divided by 564. This is the number we're working with. So again, it's 564 divided by 6. So the first thing we're going to do is make a nice straight line to have some space to work. Okay, and remember that over here is where the multiplication is happening. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we have to think about a number that's going to be multiplied by 6 that is going to be as close as possible to the number that we're working with. Okay, so for example, we want to do 6 times something is a number that's close to 564. Now, it's really important that the numbers that go here are numbers that are easy to work with. So you're not going to do... 6 times 72 or 6 times 38. You're picking numbers that are easy so that end with a 0, for example. So let's try with, um, we'll start with, let's say, 6 times 5. Okay, well, 6 times 5 is 30. If I look at my first one, well, it has to be a bigger number, so maybe 6 times 50. Well, I know that 6 times 5 is 30. If I add a 0, it's 300. Okay, that's a little bit too small. I'm going to keep going as high as I can to try and get close to that 56 here. So 6 times 6, well, 36. Again, I can keep going. Maybe I should skip a few more. 6 times 8, 48. Mm, maybe I can keep going. 6 times 9, 54. Oh, I'm very close there. And I know I can't do 6 times 10 because that would be 60 and that would be over the number I'm looking for. So I'm going to use 6 times 9. Okay, so if I do 6 times 9, I get 54. Now remember that the trick with the numbers, right? If I want to get um, a three-digit number, in this case, I want to add a 0 at the end. Okay, so I know that 6 times 9 is 54. Add a 0, it becomes 6 times 90, and the answer is 540. So I'm going to do my subtraction now. 4 minus 0 is 4, 6 minus 4 is 2, and 5 minus 5 is 0. And I'm not going to put the 0 there because I know it's 0. To make sure it's nice and clear working with the number 24. Okay, so now I have a lot of smaller numbers that I can work with. So I'm going to think of, okay, 6 times what equals a number that's close to 24? Hmm, well, I actually happen to know from reflex math and mad minute that 6 times 4 is actually 24. So 6 times 4, 24. Do my subtraction. And in this particular case, I have no remainders. But I'm not quite done. Here is where my answer is going to be. So after that, I've got to do some more math, and I'm going to add these numbers that, is le that are left over. And notice I made sure that my 1s are lined up, my 10s are lined up. So 90 plus 4 is 94. And there is your answer. Now remember, you don't necessarily have to get, like for example, if you make a mistake and you say, okay, five, 6 times uh, 80 instead, that's okay. You're, just because you missed one, it doesn't matter. Your steps will be longer, but you'll still end up getting to 94, no matter how many steps you have. So that's why you have to try and get as close as possible to make sure that you don't do too many steps. But if you happen to mi mi miss one, it's okay. Okay. So that's how you do long division with three-digit numbers.